Ah, oh, looks like we're on here. All right. Ahaya, alayanawa, ahaya ka, Shabbat shalom, kwam yashara. Welcome to Word War 3. Our reference will be 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 16. The topic today will be NASA. NASA reference publication 1207 dated August 1988 not too long ago now the quick note the God of the God which means power the God of our forebears our forefathers created a flat earth in the shape of a compass like a ticking wristwatch, the sun, moon, and stars above our heads move so that we can count the celestial bodies move, across, move above us in degrees. Um, then came along a power or a people who decided that they didn't want a flat earth. They wanted a circular earth. They wanted a globe earth, excuse me, a globe earth. And so they started calling our ancestors hunter-gatherers who basically couldn't tie their own cheek strings. We know this is wrong. There's pyramids and all kinds of uh, mathematical structures all across the earth. Even hidden under underwater. Uh, they just recently found some under dirt. are still uh, in your textbooks, in your science textbooks today. And let us remind our readers, our viewers, and our faithful who keep uh, returning to us that indigenous Hebrew Israelite awakening is not a, a racist religious hate. We're not affiliated with any of those Hebrew Israelite camps out there that are barking hate, spewing, you know, murderous words across America. We simply live here. Now this reference, NASA reference publication 1207, dated August 1988, remember that. It was published on NASA form 1626, dated October 18, 1986. So this is the form number and the date of that form. The reporting number is NASA NASARP, which is uh, reference publication, meaning refer reference publication 1207. And the topic of this NASA report is called Derivation and Definition of Linear Aircraft Model. Now, besides all the mathematical equations and modern scientific talk, we will focus on the very last page and conclusions of their scientific report. Here we go. So this is the first page of a 108 report that NASA put out in 1988. This is the first page, what it looks like. Here again, you got the NASA reference number, the title, the people who were involved, and again, the NASA logo and all that other, the NASA name and all that other good stuff. This is the very first page. And this is the very last page right here. Ah, the wind is like, carry us away. We're gonna work through it. Okay. So this is the very last page. Again, it has the NASA, and, and folks, you can go to nasa.gov, or you can actually Google, Google this, and it'll come right up. So this report is done by NASA on August 1988. Here's the reference number, NASA RP-1207, which is important. When we come down to these blocks, you know, these where it was done, blah, 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 work unit, all that good stuff, reference publication, block 16, the abstract. And, 
and something special is said in here, which is according to biblical standard, according to what King Solomon has said in the Proverbs. This report documents the deviation and definition of a linear aircraft model for a rigid aircraft of constant mass flying over a flat, non-rotating Earth. I'm going to stop right there. Flying over a flat, non-rotating Earth. Remember what that what was just said to you. And your textbooks are still saying globe Earth. Now these are the, the white lies that we gotta get we gotta get through. Because again, our children are being taught that we live on a globe earth, but yet the documentation of these flyboys are telling us that they're flying over a flat stationary non-rotating earth. The same thing that our ancestors were telling us. Is that what your test book tell you? Now these, again, Hebrew Israelite awakening is here because a lot of the African Americans that you call black, or that you call Afri African American, we solely trust and believe that our ancestors were the people of the book, the people of the holy scriptures we call the Lashawan Kodash. And we are waking up for the simple reason of lies like this are outright. These little white, white lies add up and they keep adding up. Like to tell somebody a vote is going to matter and then the very next day one of your relatives is shot dead on the street. This is the, the type of uh, murderous culture that we live in. You know, we're, we're here to speak terms of peace with the people who have captured us. And we still capture today. You just don't know. Because little lies like this is still confusing us all. And here's another little white lie that not too many people may know. The whole 1989 things, or things that were going on in 1988, make that correction, this book also was published in 1988. See the face there? Looks like an Arab, right? Got the Arab headdress, the glasses. See that? Now this book right here was published in 1988. And if any of you know about, about what happened in 2001, whereas the Twin Towers got hit by airplanes, some of you may want to read this book. Some of you may want to read this book by the author Warren Murphy and Richard Sapir. That's the correct pronunciation of their names. Again, this book was written and published in 1988 and the entire story the entire 2001 story of 9-11 is in this book. Every char character you can think of, from President Bush to Qaddafi, to all the people in the world who had so, so, so Osama bin Laden, all the people in the world. I, I did a book, I, I'm, excuse me, I, I did a video uh, back when I was a Christian on the same subject. You guys might want to go to Amazon or whatever and get a copy of this book. 
and read it. And you're going to see that instead of using airplanes, this book they use train, locomotives. But the entire story of 2011, 9-11 they call it. Another fine reason why the Hebrew Israelite community is waking up from the lies that are in our face. Hebrew Israelite is who I am. I'm your conscientious objector. And we're here to discuss revelations. Hebrew Israelite out.